my name is Maya Davis from Grant Music Support Service. We're going to be showing you some first steps of how to play the violin. So we're going to start with learning the important parts of the instrument. At the top we have the scroll. Just below the scroll we have the four tuning pegs which is where the strings start. These are only for the teacher to touch at the moment as it's very easy to snap the strings. The strings run along the long black fingerboard and up and over the bridge and into the tail piece which is connected to the violin by its button and the tail gut. On the front of the violin we can also see the chin rest and its sound holes or F holes. We also have the back of the violin where we can clearly see the neck and its shoulders. Okay, having looked at the main parts of the violin, we're now going to move on to how to position it correctly. This is really important as it affects the rest of your playing. There are many different ways to do this, but a good starting point is to stand with your feet shoulder width apart and to hold your violin with your left hand on its left shoulder with the back against your leg. You might like to put your other hand over your collarbone as this is where you'd like your instrument to land. Gently swing your arm back and forth to check that you're nice and relaxed before swinging it up above shoulder height and dropping it down onto your natural shelf, your collarbone, before slightly turning your head towards your strings and dropping your chin onto the chin rest. When you're in this position, there are three things that you should check. Firstly, that the scroll is not pointing the same way as your feet, but slightly out to the side. Secondly, that the scroll is not below your chin, but slightly above it. And thirdly, that your chin is slightly over the tailpiece. Okay, it's important to practice positioning your instrument many times until it becomes natural and comfortable. And when you feel ready, you might like to make it make a sound by plucking. To do this, a good way is to point your thumb to the floor before taking it to the fingerboard and resting it there to keep it steady. Point your first finger, take it to the furthest string away, which is the biggest one, which will make the lowest sound. This is the G string, the next is the D, and as the strings get smaller, they get higher, we go to the A, and the smallest, the highest, is the E. When you're feeling more confident and practice this many times, you might like to pluck down the fingerboard, taking your hand away from the string, to draw a small circle before putting the thumb back onto the fingerboard, so that your sound travels further. When you feel comfortable with positioning your violin and with plucking the open strings, you might like to position your left hand. To do this, steady your instrument with your right hand before lifting up your fingers, travelling the thumb around the neck and down the neck until you reach perhaps where your teacher has made a mark or roughly a centimetre from the end. The fingers, however, will keep going to the end of the neck the palm should be facing you, not the ceiling, not the floor. And as we will be looking at the D string notes, the third crease of your finger should be in line with the fingerboard. You should have natural movement with your elbow to feel comfortable. From here, we can then bend the knuckles over and onto the D string where the first finger goes opposite the thumb, the second finger will go spaced to leave a finger gap and the third finger will go close. Notice how each finger stays tall and the fingernails will be pointing towards my nose. The wrist stays in line. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful and that you really enjoy your music making.